So for this video I'll show you how to properly cite uh, some references but more particularly how to locate the information in the web pages that uh, you need to grab when you are doing the citations and I'll also show you how to do that in Word. So first of all let's go to a, a particular piece of content here. I want to cite this content here on this particular page I'm quoting somebody else or I'm referencing somebody else and I'm referencing these people right in here. So I'm going to go over to my Word document here. I'm sitting in the References section and what I'd like to do is create um, a reference and create a new source. So I'm going to click New Source and I'm going to say it's a document from a website and I need an author. So now I'm going back here and I'm looking for an author name. I'm looking all over for the name of an author and I'm not seeing anything. So I either go find another document that I can find the author, but here's a trick. So I'm going to trim back here. I'm going to go to the very, very beginning. Actually, I'll go right to there and I'll hit enter. And when I do that, I find out that this site is actually from uh, this particular school of engineering and all that other wonderful stuff. So that's great. I know where the organization is, but I don't know who the author is. Um, so I'll copy this information here and then I'll go over to this. That's not the author, but the name of the website is, or the person that produced it, the name of the website would be that, School of Engineering. I still need the author's name. So let's go back to here and let's go back to where we are. Uh, were. I need an author for this. I need a human for this. So I'm going to do the same trick, which is called trimming away the back end of the URL. So I'll trim down to there and I'll hit enter and it looks like this particular website right here is owned and operated by this person. So I'll grab that person's name and I'll go back into my Word doc here and now I know who the author is so I'll go bang on that. Uh, name of the web page. Okay, no sweat. We'll go back over to here. Let's go back to that original document, which was right here. And the name of the web page, I don't know, I guess you could pick probably this would be the name. I think that's probably, if we click on that, you can see that that's kind of the name of the website, I would say. So the name of the web page is this thing right here. So we'll copy that and we'll go into here. The name of the web page, bang. Um, production company, I guess, if you wanted to, you could say that it was uh, the University of Washington, St. Louis. Um, it's 2015. Uh, is it 2015? 2016? And uh, we'll go... Now, what year was this? A it was actually accessed 2016. Um, and it was accessed here and here. Now, it's this stuff this year and uh, this month and this, sorry, that entry there is when, if there's a date on this, that's what you would be putting in there, but there's no date on this. So if we go back to this reference, what we're saying in here is we don't know when um, uh, Dr. Zhang produced that, but we do know when we last accessed it. Okay, let's go in and grab the URL. So we're going to grab this URL right here. We're going to copy that and we'll go back to here. We'll paste it right in here and then we'll say OK. It's done two things. It's actually created and inserted the citation. And I've done this before a moment ago and so when I go to insert my bibliography I'll just say insert bibliography and there it is. So it's got all of the information right in here. You can see that when it's cited and all that wonderful stuff. Later on, if I decide um, if I decide that I'm typing away and I want to make reference to that, um, I just say insert the citation and I'll say insert the Zhang citation and I keep on going uh, happily along. So that's how you use the bibliography. Now I'm going to show you how not to cite um, uh, web-based resources. So a classic one is, uh, let's say I want to do something like uh, make reference to a picture of uh, Galileo dropping cannonballs off the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So I Google my way through and all I want is a picture. So I've done this search right in here and the picture that I want for some reason um, 
let's I'm going to look at that and that looks kind of cute so I'll say okay so the wrong way to do it is to grab this copy this and then grab that URL it's wrong for a couple of reasons first of all take a look at how horrendously big that particular URL is going to come out when we paste it and furthermore you're actually pasting the URL of a search result don't ever paste search results we're going to go back to here you can go to this uh, you can go to either the URL for the image or the page if I go here now I, um, I have the actual full URL right here so I'll copy that but notice that in this case I have no idea who the owner is I can't even trim back and if I consider the fact that when I go to insert a new resource I'm going to be asked for the author and the website and Google is not a website when it comes to referencing you need an actual human and you need the actual URL and all of that wonderful stuff so you're not going to find that on that particular link on that particular link so I'm going to close that and say that's going to be something that I just can't cite now if I go back and hit the page I notice in here that the URL is looking a little bit nicer and now I'm starting to wonder whether or not I can find out who this author is and I'm scrolling down here and I still can't track a human being's name to this particular person and because I can't do that well maybe I can if I do home um, and it still doesn't in here tell me what human being is responsible for writing this I guess I could try to trim back a little bit further and I'm not seeing anything I can trim back to here and I'll try hitting enter and I'm not getting anything there so that's reference isn't going to work for me so let's go back to here close this I need another cannonball image all right so we'll try that one and we'll try visiting this page right in here and it's a Wolfram demonstration and again I'm looking for an actual human in here and I've got this Enrique Zeleni so for all I know, for all we know this person isn't uh, you know it's just some chump and we want to be careful of that so we're gonna go back and we're gonna close this before I go any further how do we know that our previous buddy wasn't a chump well our previous buddy worked at the uh, Washington University in St. Louis and that's legit for us whereas that previous person we don't know whether or not this person's legit it's a dot com site so we're gonna say probably not let's go back up to here that used to work but it's not working anymore these days so I'll go and do an advanced search I'm still looking for cannonball Pisa but I would only like to search in anything that ends in edu so we'll do an advanced search on that and now we're getting EDU based sites so I'll click on here and I'll say yes I'd like that picture so there's my URL uh, but more particularly I can see that it's coming from Stanford University where exactly I'll start trimming back so I'll delete that hit enter and I'm getting it from the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy I should be able to trim down here and I should be able to see a human who's responsible for it and again I've got some title information right in here I've got a URL sitting up in here um, I'm going to burrow around a little bit further and see if I can find out uh, who particularly wrote this okay so summary uh, when you're using uh, word you are using bibliographies you are inserting citations you're creating new sources and when you create a new source you're making sure that you can locate the author the name of the web page all that other wonderful stuff sitting in here you're re you're always looking for the date that it was created its author you're remembering that sometimes what you can do is you can trim back and if you trim back far enough you can usually see who actually owns the site and additionally 
you are uh, when you're citing a particular page you give the entire URL and what you don't 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 do is you don't copy and paste URLs with search engines you go to that particular site you view either the page or the image you burrow deeply enough so you can actually find out exactly who made that and what was the other last review the other last one was that idea about using the search engines advanced tools over here and we're using the advanced thing and we're always saying I just want to look in edu sites don't give me dot com sites <laughs>